Oh man, it's so crazy. Um, you know, because the other day I had somebody ask me, they said, John, uh, if you had to structure the perfect world, what would be your idea of the perfect world? And that really made me think. It really, really had me think because it had me, I started to visualize and I started to envision what the perfect world would be like to me. And, you know, so crazy that, you know, even my hair, I've been growing out my hair like crazy, right? I've been growing it. Usually I have a shortcut, but I've been growing it like crazy. I've been growing out the beard. I had some girl the other day hit me up say, you know, John, you should, you should shave the beard. Go back to the younger look and, you know, have the clean shave and all that stuff. And that's cool, right? That's cool. But right now, you got to understand the wisdom is growing with the hair. I keep telling y'all the wisdom is growing with the hair. I'm going to eventually cut it, but not right now. I'm going to do what I want to do. So speaking of doing what you want to do, my first, the first thought that comes to mind when I think about the perfect world is I think about being able to do what you want to do. Uh, that's the main thing. But also, I think of a world that doesn't cast judgment based on just looks or doesn't cast judgment based on the color of your skin or based on your religion and what you believe in because at the end of the day if we both believe in a god that's all that should matter we shouldn't be in competition in how you interpret god or how you interpret the law of the bibles or the quran or whatever at the end of the day we know we have fear for a higher being and that's all that matters so my idea of a perfect world is a world that doesn't cast judgment on other people based on just the outer exterior right a world where people are able to see energy energy right the, the wor a world where people are able to react to other people based on the energy and the character and instead of just looks and out of appearance uh but of course this is something that i'm working on too right this is something that i'm trying to get better at too i'm trying to get better at judging people judging not even judging but i guess you just well judging right it is judging because naturally as human beings we do judge but i'm talking about seeing a person deeper than you know how much money they have or what kind of cars they drive or you know what they've accomplished seeing past just that and being able to see what their intentions are being able to see uh the good in their heart being able to see how they treat other people the compassion that they show the love that they show because re realistically right consciousness consciousness is love and passion it's being aware of the feelings of other people and, and being aware of you know the dreams and visions that other people in this world have so when i think of the perfect world i'm thinking of a world with no shame a world where where we could do what we want to do we can have sex with the people we want to have sex with as much as we want to have sex with them as long as we're not in a relationship as long as we're not married or something like that uh and there's no diseases we wouldn't have to worry about catching a disease or a std from having a sexual partner right a world where we can be free we can go out and, and just be ourselves just how we want to dress grow our hair um and, and just be ourselves be the natural human being that we are here to be because it told us in the bible that we're human beings and we have full dominion over the land right so that makes me think about a perfect world where the people have all of the information and the information isn't hidden from us a world where they let us know what to eat and what not to eat where to get the natural herbs and the natural plants that cure diseases and where to get the natural plants because god wouldn't put, him, put us on an earth where it's not self-sufficient think about it he wouldn't put us on an earth where everything we need to cure every disease is already here it's in some type of plant somewhere in some type of forest but we're not knowledgeable we don't have the information to know exactly where to go to pick the damn plant because that would of course eradicate doctors that would eradicate uh, having to go for doctor visits over and over again and thinking of doctor visits and prescription drugs and stuff like that if you want discounts and you want to save money on benefits and prescription drugs and stuff like that uh, you could check out below this video uh, you'll see a link where you can get access to a company where you'll get discounts up to 65% off on prescription drugs uh, medical bills dental bills roadside assistance and all that type of stuff but you know, it's crazy when I think about a perfect world, it's like, yo, I, like my vision is to help this happen in some way, shape or form. That's my vision. That's why I release these products, enlightening people and telling people how to think as a higher being and a supreme being instead of thinking small. Right. I'm tired of people feeling less 
low self-esteem, not feeling confident. If I had to think of a perfect world, people will be confident to walk in their power. They'll be confident to be themselves. People will not have to worry about the judgment of other people. We'll be shame-free, right? Shame-free, do what we, we, we please as long as it's good, as long as it's deriving from a place of love and compassion. Uh, and that's my idea of a perfect world, and it's not so much divisions because the divisions, the divide that is created and the fear that's instilled in people is allows the powers that be to become richer and richer and richer. It allows the powers that be to create separ separation, to create the argument and to create the bicker and to create the, the divide between me and you as a people so that we can never see the bigger picture because we're bickering about something so damn small. You get what I'm saying? So to me, a perfect world will take away the divides and it will realize that we are all one and we're all connected, right? Everything is connected. Uh, we need oxygen, right? The plants need carbon dioxide. We need the plants. The plants need us. We need water. The water needs, you get what I'm saying? So everything is connected. The water goes by the tides and, and how the moon is positioned at certain times. And, and, and when you think about the universe and you think about the world, you're like, damn, I believe it's possible to create a perfect world, if you will, like a utopian world, but there's just the anti-conscious people, right? The, the people who go against consciousness, they're still in love with the power, you know? They're still in love with the things, they're still in love with the materials, and they don't realize that the true greatest asset on earth is humanity, you know? That, that's really the true great, the greatest asset. So. When I think about the, the perfect world, I think of a world where people who didn't do any wrong, who's in jail serving crazy years for something they didn't do, they're innocent, they will be freed. And when they come out of jail, people who, had, who did do wrong at a certain age, depending on what they did, my idea of a perfect world is after a certain amount of time, if they've proven to be good citizens or good people, uh, we shouldn't keep that judgment on them. We should allow them to find jobs. We should allow them to be able to get into jobs and, and be able to uh, be forgiven by society. You get what I'm saying? Because when we're young, we tend, we do dumb things. We can make mistakes. Uh, and and the, the judicial system is like unforgiven. It doesn't allow you to get over those mistakes you make when you're stupid, when you're young and dumb and ignorant and running around the streets or whatever you maybe have done. I don't believe you should pay for that for the rest of your life. You get what I'm saying? Uh, that's just my idea of a perfect world. Um, but you know, we, we got to advance. We got to get there. You know, some people get it. Some people get it. Most people don't yet, but people are catching up. But we need the information. So my idea is the information will be released to all the people. All the people will know their power. All the people will know their source to go to, to be freed from whatever bondage they're experiencing, right? Because there's all forms of bondage in the world. But you need the information. You need that. And if you don't know where to find the information, if you don't know where to find... You know, it's hard to get out of that bondage sometimes. So my idea of a perfect world, man, is just go so many levels deep. So what I'm building is an army of people, and I built that already. Uh, it's just building every single day. It's the 300 to Freedom Movement, where people are just being themselves, making money, working as their own boss, as their own entrepreneur, if they want. Uh, people are doing what they want, making money, being themselves as an individual. You don't have to wear some fake tuxedo or fake tie or look professional to try, try to fit apart. So. That's just my idea of the perfect world. I could go in on this for hours and hours and hours, but you know, because my mind is just thinking so deep right now, and I'm trying to change a lot of things in the world. But you look, you see me looking away. When I'm looking away, is because I'm just thinking. That that question of what's oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought the camera cut off. But anyway, that question of what's. Uh, my idea of the perfect world, it really bugged me out and it had me thinking, but I have a vision for it, right? I have a vision for what the perfect world can be, but the divides will be done. You know, the divides will be wiped out. Um, we would have respect for other people. We would have respect for what they believe and try to understand where they come from instead of just judging. And you'll be able to make money outside of a corporate structured America or outside of a corporate structured control system. You'll be able to make money using your God-given talents. You'll be able to make money uh, you know, through your strengths that you were blessed with. You'll be able to elaborate on that and get more skilled in that area and create riches from that, right? Because the riches are already inside of you. So that's my idea of a perfect world. I just had to share this with you because it had me thinking it. And I, want, I knew somebody out there needed to hear that somebody out there wants to be a part of the movement and change the world, change themselves 
and become a supreme being. So if that's you, just hit me up. My name is Jonathan Belcher.